and welcome to the show. So I apologise there hasn't been any videos for a while. We've been having a few sort of microphone issues, however they are all now sorted. So we are here at the Nürburgring. This is one of, if not the most challenging race circuit in the world. At 12.9 miles long and with 147 corners, it certainly deserves the nickname the Green Hell. This is where all the supercar manufacturers bring their latest cars to test them and is a badge of honours to those with the fastest lap times. And while I appreciate the challenge and I admire the people who drive it, I have never really been a particular fan of the track. I can't remember how many corners there are, let alone how they all drive. However, Daniel, you are a fan of this track. I am an incredible fan of this track. I love it, just everything about it. Now, I, s I gave Alex a challenge. I didn't tell him what it was. All I told him was to report to Nürburgring. So, here I am. It is a cloudy, dreary, fairly miserable day here in Germany and I'm in the the first gear Mazda. I don't really know what to sort of be expecting. I'm a little bit scared. I'm not a fan of this track particularly and that is a loud speck in the distance. It's growing ever closer. Sounds Hello. interesting. Hello. That's not oh, what oh, I was oh, expecting. Oh, wait. Okay, that now you've it. screwed that one up, haven't you? I have. Um, that's yes. a Holden. Why is there a Holden? It is a Holden. Um. Base, I know you like V8 supercars. It's one of your most favourite mo one of your yeah. most favourite motorsports. Um, so I thought I'd give you the challenge of getting this Holden round this track in under nine minutes. Oh dear God! <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah. this might be a little bit tricky. It will um, be a little bit tricky. <laughs> that little braking wow. stunt proved it. Yeah, this might take a while. Now to show you just why this car is so unsuited to this sort of attempt. I'm going to make a short little video showing me practicing around the Nürburgring GP circuit. Now this car has 500 horsepower and near enough 500 torques. That's sort of Ferrari Lamborghini numbers. All in a big heavy four-door saloon car. It's not sophisticated horsepower either. There's no fancy electronic systems or anything. It all just gets dumped out of the rear wheels and the tyres begin to smoke pretty much all the time. It's also not exactly aerodynamic, is it? It's a, sort of a... Brick. It's not, no, not <laughs> at all. There is absolutely no aerodynamics at all in this car. So yeah, um, this isn't the best car in the world, but I thought to add to the sense of the challenge, I didn't give uh, Alex the opportunity to use any assists, and I made him use his steering wheel as well to make the challenge even, even harder. Yeah, this is going to be a really rather tough challenge. I love I love the sort of it's a muscle car really this. It's not it's not a super slew car. It's not like an M five. This is just a pure sort of muscle car really. It's just yeah, all about straight line speed and cornering is really secondary. So it was a with a certain amount of trepidation that I set off onto my first lap. I am rather scared that I'm gonna come down to this first corner, which is blooming fast, even on a from a standing start, and it's gonna be a big fiery wreck because this car is quick in a straight line, it will top 170 and that's quite a lot for a car with not excellent brakes and well, it is incredibly, quick, incredibly heavy. Yeah, the brakes don't work at all and there's absolutely... The steering's odd, put that way, and yeah. Yeah. It's also goes sideways everywhere as I'm demonstrating there, that's my first time through that corner, that 120. That was, that was a and bit of a it's going brown sideways. trouser moment. Brown trouser here, moment here as well, a little Jesus bit wrong. Christ. That's an even bigger slide. <laughs> That's an incredible save. Well done. Yeah, how you did that. That, that, that was insane. very sideways and very scary. Of course, once it's on the grass, you've got no control over the car until it's just going to go. Now, another thing that I learnt is the curbs are very high. Oh, <laughs> that was <laughs> very <laughs> nearly rolled it. That was uh, interesting there. I think. <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, that was another scary moment, shall we say? How do you manage to do that? You, I you don't manage know. to roll a, any car, any track, you can roll it at some point. Yeah, there's, it. it's a special ability I have finding every single very high kerb and I can roll anything anywhere. Now through here, this is one of the fastest corners on the track, you know about 150, oh, yeah. and that's gone sideways, you cannot save it. Stop, please stop, please stop, we're going to, yes, yes, there Way, we go. You nearly <laughs> got a, yeah, that, that was nice shot there as well at the end of it, that's quite... Yes, the, the replay camera is very kind at that bit. Uh, yeah, that was that was probably the scariest moment of the whole evening. How that didn't touch the wall, I will never know. That that was interesting. Yeah, that is is very scary. Just on a normal drive through that corner, it's very tricky. This was happening to me a lot as well. A little bit over eager. 
As soon as you get the curbs, that's it, and obviously yeah. the amount of power this has got, it, it's, in, it's not an impossible to control once you get it on the grass. Yeah, you're on the grass, you lost control. Get it on the curbs, you're lucky if you're retaining control. If you get a little bit sideways, it's not too bad. No, but... Uh, th th this is not the best car in the world. What has happened here? Well, I've been driving for a couple of hours now trying to get a lap time, and basically my left leg went to sleep. And ah. I had to kind of get up and move about in the room Fair to uh, get some feeling. Otherwise, the clutch was, yeah, it was a bit strange. But <laughs> <laughs> not a problem you have in the real car, I should imagine. You, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't be very good on like a, an endurance race, would you, if you had to stop no, in the track? No, I needed every chair so before I uh, do endurance racing. Through here, that's quite scary. Ooh, that, that, that was off the, that, uh, that was a bit ground, ambitious. <laughs> Another yeah, brown trousers moment there. I might have been going a bit too fast through there. But um, once you get all the wheels off the uh, road, you've got no steering, and I found my way into it. This is the only car we have, though. If you, you remember, if you mess there this wasn't up, that's it. any damage. Gone. It was only a tiny little ding on the uh, the rear I bumper. No idea how. And that was yeah, a quite it not was exactly a, a good save. light shot. Kill the cameraman. I managed to get the cameraman through there. That I thought it was quite a, quite amusing. But this car is so hard to drive. I love it, but it's. It's just so hard driving around this particular track. We get, get some more air time down here. There we go. Another jump in the hold. The suspension's that not going to like springs. it. Whoops. How that did not wreck the springs, I've no idea. <laughs> yeah, this car isn't light either. So, I managed Whoa. to find the one gravel trap in the hole of the Nürburgring. Somehow I managed <laughs> to park it there. <laughs> I'll make some sandcastles quick. And there we go. I'm good. Let's pretend that never happened. Right, fair enough. You're not brilliant at this, are you? Let's be fair. No, this isn't your favourite track. I am struggling, and ooh, Whoa, we're going to get some yeah. more two wheels moments. Oh, um, and you, yeah, that may have found the wall a little bit more that time. That was probably the biggest crash that I did in the whole the whole sort of uh, afternoon. It took, did take me about three hours to get the lap time down. But yeah, this car does go on two wheels, and the curbs around Nürburgring are higher than you expected. So I'm trying to show you this. It's not going to work very well. However, three four hours into this race, I managed to complete a lap time in 9 minutes point zero zero one. I was a tiny, tiny fraction over. It's not going to show, I don't think, I'm trying to show you on the telemetry here. It's so close. You have no idea how annoyed I was at that one. That, 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 okay, fair enough. That, that <laughs> was pretty close, not going to lie. That was pretty damn but close. Yeah, that, that so was incredibly close. I did persist, and it was on the next lap, actually, that I did, that I got my lap time. I did an 8.57. So I managed to find quite a sizable bit of time. Well, it's not hard on so this track, here some four seconds is not really much. Yeah, when, when you're going for such a long distance, you need to make up a tidy bit of corner, and you'll find an awful lot of time over the whole lap. Of course, this is a very long track, so we're not going to show you the whole lap. But I think we should talk about this car a little bit, because it is an interesting machine, is the word that I'm going to use. This it, I'm, isn't a uh, race car. It's not designed for what we're doing with it. No, it's not. It's still the four-door saloon I would have, because I think it is just so, so bonkers in every single way. It looks different. It sounds incredible. You've got to love a good old V8. It handles not particularly well, but it's exciting. Which is kind of what I want in a car. Yeah, it sounds I, a bit silly. For me, for me, I no, this isn't a, a track bred race car. But for what we did, I mean, I chose the car thinking it would be a, a laugh a minute moment. But I mean, when I drove it around and set the lap or set my lap, it wasn't that bad for what it was. I mean, it's a big, heavy four-door saloon car. Okay, it's not my favourite. I would personally still have the M5 or something similar yeah, to that. I, th I think if you're being sensible and you want a car you can drive around the track with your family in it, you're going to go for the M5. The M5 is a better car overall. If you want the exciting car to drive to the track with your family in, I'd this go for the, the Holden. Yeah, or, yeah I, I'd go for this over even the Mercedes that are even more powerful. I think this is a brilliant car. But that is it for this episode, so thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.